what's up everybody? It's game day. Week two, game two of the Cowboys preseason of the series. Here we go. Boom! Alright, so yeah, maybe it's football time in the air again. Cowboys playing the Arizona Cardinals on the road. Game number two for the Cowboys. So we're gonna get into who looked good, who needs improvement, whose bubble is about to burst, and who is making a run to a roster spot, All right guys? So let's get into the game. Here we go. All right, so Garrett Gobert's performance tonight, I think uh, definitely not as good as, uh, you know, the first game, the Hall of Fame game. Actually, I didn't like his performance tonight. I think he was a little bit off with some of his passes. Uh, some of the O-line uh, protection was kind of spotty, so that, that was kind of a deal there. But that's the thing, you know, when, when you're able to apply pressure on uh, Gilbert, that's where he starts having issues. He pretty much has to have a perfect pocket. So the question is, is he still the best option at number two? Do the Cowboys need to consider another option here? All right, what do you guys think? Defensively, Keanu knew I think, had a really good game tonight. He was all over the place, physical at the point of attack, you know, hitting that line, hitting those uh, run fits really well tonight. Had the forced fumble and then the uh, fumble recovery. So Keanu knew, good off, uh, you know, off season addition, continuing to look the part there as a bulked up linebacker. So I like what, what we're seeing from him so far. Good addition to the linebacker core. Uh, what impressed me tonight was the play of Tyler Beatish in conjunction with Connor McGovern, okay? We did see C. Will start the game at uh, center. That is just to get a look at C. Will against, you know, more of a starting front. Failed miserably. <laughs> he didn't look good at all. I, C. Will's not even a viable backup, okay? So they pulled him out. Like I said, Gilbert had some issues there with protection just because there were some issues with the handoff from the center to Gilbert. So there's some issues there. Uh, so, But when you saw Tyler, Beatish, and McGovern out there together, they looked good. They looked dominant. They stoned their guys left and right. They were able to move the ball down the field on a couple of drives. So I honestly think that that could be your starters here. McGovern is making a, a good push to be that starter at left guard. For me, C. Will, he might end up being a backup. What do you guys think? The ugly injuries hit us today with some key spots, in particular, Novell Gallimore. Okay, it, was, it looked like an ugly hit, you know, uh, friendly fire action, you could say, in the scrum there. So it's a, it's being reported as a hyper extended elbow. So he's going to miss probably a few weeks. I don't know if we'll see him again for the preseason, but shouldn't be something too bad. McEwen, he suffers an ankle injury. He was having a really good you know camp preseason i like him I, I still think he makes a team but we'll see how long that injury is malik turner as well having another solid offseason and preseason had some good catches in this game but he too suffered a uh, ankle injury wasn't able to walk on his own so that one might be a little bit worse than McKe McEwen. all right so those are the main injuries tonight okay we get some kelvin joseph action tonight i want this is what i wanted to see i wanted to see him experience some adversity he did have it in this game i thought he had an okay game uh, but, you know, he did have the penalty that led the Cardinals to extend their drive and ultimately score on that drive. So that wasn't good on that part. The play right after that, he got beat on a deep pass. Some people want to say it's a push off. It was not a push off. They would have called it. Um, he just got beat, you know, as simple as that. So you want to see that, though. You want to see him get beat. How did he respond to that? I think he responded well. I think after that play, you saw him. They kept him in there. He played a pretty good bulk of the, you know, those first few quarters. So you saw him uh, recover quickly from that. You know, he didn't ha hold his head down, nothing like that. This is what I wanted to see. Tested adversity. How do you respond? Check mark there from Kelvin Joseph. The pass rushing competition really got ratcheted up today. Uh, Dorrance Armstrong, I think, you know, he's... He's probably your, your front runner right now. Rondell Carter showing up as well. I think he had a good game last week as well. Um, so <clears throat> those two guys, and Bradley and I had a really good game tonight. I like how he looked. Good spin move, good swim move, good pressure. The motor looked good there. So making a run at it, making a run at, at a position here. Bradley and I, I like how he performed. These three really, you know, picked it up with the absence of some of the other, you know, guys with Demarcus Lawrence and Randy Gregory now playing tonight. Those guys picked it up and I think they did a pretty good job. One player that really bounced off the, the film today for me in this game, Joe Brill Cox, all right? This guy is able to recognize the play, 
and seek and strike. I, this is what you want to see from a linebacker. You see the ball carrier and the linebacker go and attack and get that guy. Make the right angles, make the tackles, wrap up the player, be physical. Jabril Cox, I was really impressed in his, his performance tonight, guys. Let me know what you think about Jabril Cox. All right, guys, so those are my players of the game. You know, the, the guys that I thought really stood out tonight and maybe you know i mentioned some that, that didn't do so good but guys let me know what you thought of the game two here against the cardinals preseason uh it, it's good man it, it's good action for the young guys you saw some guys make some plays and uh you see some consistency you see some some plays like that that you like and uh i love it dude i love it man this this uh this is going to be a season of seasons for the Cowboys if they continue to show improvement. You know what I mean? But guys, continue to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you for the next one. Peace!